Hey y'all. Y'all know it's late, right? But um I had a requested video from I'm pretty sure if you're a new waxy you will appreciate this video. You should, I don't know. As you know when if you've been following me for some time now you know when I get into something I really get into it like I do a lot of research on it I watch you know I look for if there's any videos on the different companies that I'm interested in I really get into it my husband he always teased me about that he said when you really get into something you get into it you know I buy a lot of the stuff you know so um, some people may not just have time for that and you know they look for other people who are into it who have put a lot of time into it they look for their advice but I strongly suggest that <laughs> you do your own research too but I'm always here to help my fellow waxies or naturals on nail polish fanatics with whatever information that I know so this is for my new waxies there most of the people that's on my channel are into natural hair and bath and body products so because I just became a part of the wax community now they now you all are getting into it and um, so here we go so the first thing you want to do when buying wax is you want to get you a book this is my wax book and it has a lot of pages in it and basically what I will do is uh, the different companies that I buy from or that I want to buy from I will put I will put in here like if it's a company that I want to buy from uh, what I would do is I will put if it's a custom I will put the scent blends that I want because the last thing you want to do is wait until they bring come up come to your name and ask you for your custom list and you sitting there like okay what am I gonna put together you know um, that's what you don't want to do and you want to already kind of have your list written down or kind of know what you want also what I have in here I may have said that but it's companies that I want to try and I will go ahead and do my scent list and look at what other people have been blending and look at what they say about each of the scents you know it's kind of similar to what we do with bubble bistro how we mix and match the scents it's the same thing with the custom uh, candles and wax melts yeah they even have some candles that you can custom some companies do the big jar candles as well so that's basically and some people also with their wax books they get more detail for me uh, I pretty much if something knocks my socks off I pretty much will know what that is you know and what company is from I can pretty much remember the name because I write it down what I want to order so that's what I do in my book but some people will put down the company all of the wax that they have gotten from them the scent throw you know um, they get really detailed so it's all about how you want to do your book but I would strongly suggest that you get a book opposed to getting sheets of paper because that's what I was doing initially and I was just they was just all over the place I couldn't find some of them so I just got a book with a lot of pages in it and I write down the companies that I want to order from what I want to order put down my scent blends and what I want to order from them or single scents that I want to order from them if I can order it from them yeah that's what I do in my book um, so new wax info new waxy info is what I'm gonna call this video to get into wax first um, excuse me I suggest that 
you start with a D stash first. That's just my suggestion. With D stashes, what a D stash is, first of all, and this video might have to go into several videos, but I will title them part one, two, three, or whatever. But what a D stash is, is wax that is being sold from a person that has already bought the wax from the company. They may not like it. They may have too much. Um, and they just decide, decide to sell it. So that's what a D stash is. D stashes don't have to be all the same company. It will be, it can be multiple companies. And what some D stashers will do is they will throw in ex extras like samples that they get from the company because most of the time all the wax companies when you buy from them they will give you samples in your order and so people save those you know to give away in their D stashes they do add a couple of extras some are more giving with their extras and some may only give you one or two and then you have some that don't give you nothing you don't they don't have to give you extras, but some people do include extras in their D stashes. Now, the thing about D stashes is you have to be careful. There are a lot of D stash groups. Uh, all of the good D stashes <laughs> you have to be quick about. So, if you really want to get into this wax thing and you're looking to do D stashes, you kind of have to be on it, like boom, boom, be there at the right time. Because if it's a really good, like say if somebody did a Rose Girls or a Glitterati, Glitterati D stash, they gone as soon as, you know, especially if they're re very good scents. Um, those D stashes are gone as soon as the D stash are posting. Somebody is already on it. I tend to see these these stashes sit around when it's late at night. A lot of people have gone to bed, and they are they are not so quick to be snatched up because most people are in the bed for the night. But if it's during the day, <laughs> they ain't gonna last. If it's a really good company, or a hard to get company, or a company where the scents are constantly changing like rose girls glitterati you know rose girls got so many scent combo combos is ridiculous and some of those are custom combos so and y'all already know the deal with her not opening all the time so with these stashes again um it's a good way to try to wax but you do have to be careful with these stashes you have to look at the date of the wax like they will tell you this wax is six months to 12 months old unless it's a company where you hear a lot of people saying the wax is good at a year old you don't want it it's basically considered ass wax and ass wax is anything that's old or like a year a year plus old or messy some ass wax do still really have good throw and then some of it may or may not throw most of the d stash groups if they if the d stash is selling ass wax they have to state that is ass wax and you know that is ass wax so you may or may not get anything from it a lot of people do like ass wax because with ass wax they only can charge the shipping for it they cannot charge you for the wax itself because it may not be no good that's another thing about wax is the older it get with some companies it's not good this there's no scent that will come from it so you have to watch the date of um the D stash is how old the wax is. Now I can tell you companies that have really good um, throw, but that's another video. Uh, I already put up the first video. Um, if there is a company that you want to know about, 
that I have bought from or heard about, you can ask me in the comments. But that's basically it with these stashes. Just being careful that you don't um, buy a D stash that's old and you're paying a lot of money for it. For it, like that was my first mistake. But thank goodness, the D stash that I, the first D stash that I bought. Now that I, after I bought it and I researched it some more and looked at YouTube videos and all of that, it was too much. Basically, I bought wax that was a year old and I paid $30 for it with shipping when it actually probably should have been given to me for free because it was ass wax. Um, but thank goodness all of the wax through very well very well actually so um i was lucky on that end but some people aren't so lucky also when buying these stashes as well you have to be careful with people that say you're getting one thing and then they end up sending you something different you always want to follow the rules in the D-Stash group. Like, don't go off into the messages making side deals because if something goes wrong, the person can't be held accountable, you know, and it's basically he say, she say, you know what I'm saying? Unless you start screenshotting comments and all of that. But if you do it in the group, there's a picture of what was supposed to be in the D-Stash in the group so there's no mistaking what was supposed to be sent and all of that foolishness but yeah they they be having some foolishness going on it's no different than you know what you see in any other thing when people are selling stuff and all of that stuff so that's with these stashes again i know it's a lot of info but to really get into wax you need to find a, a good d stash there are groups that have some very good D stashes. Some of them have files that you go in and rate your D stashes. You know, say this person, Susie, sold me a D stash. It was very great. She even added in extras. Or you could go in and say, uh, Lucy, she was the worst D stasher in history. You know, the wax was old. It was two years old with no throw. And she told me it was six months old and still smelled good on cold sniff, <laughs> you know? So you can go in and do things like that in some of the groups, not all of them. It's basically buy at your own risk, honey. That's what the D stash is, buy at your own risk. But they are good to start off with because as I said, you get different companies all throughout the D stash is not a lot of them are not just one company. The whole point of the D-Stash as a new waxy is to be able to try different companies so you'll know if you want to buy from them or not. So that's on D-Stashes. So now I took up the whole time talking about D-Stashes. Let's talk about what I use to cut my wax with, even though I have showed this several times, but it probably was mixed in with something else. Some people buy wax cutters. I bought a baker's blade and I bought this at Michael's is by Wilton. This can cut the biggest of loaves. Some of those wax cutters, they're so short, the blade that when you do buy the real big tall low like Victoria's designer creations it won't go all the way through and you end up making a mess I've have seen that in YouTube videos where their blade couldn't get all the way through some people use silicone knives or regular butcher knives I don't want to mess up my kitchen knives that I cook with with wax so I bought something specifically for wax and if you have soap this also, I use this to cut my soaps into pieces as well, like my face soaps and whatever. And I use this to wipe it off. It's so much better than using up your paper towels. And when they get full of wax, like stains like this, you just throw it in the wash and get another old t-shirt. These are old t-shirts that my son messed up and can't fit anymore. So 
I'm going to come right back with part two.